Thank you, Gino. Thank you for the kind words. And uh, thank you all for joining us uh, in what has already been a very exciting off season. And today is no, uh, no exception to that. On behalf of the Mohegan tribe, the council, and everybody at the Connecticut and Mohegan Sun, we are really delighted to be hosting the All-Star Game for the second year in a row and the third time in our history. I think you all know this is a perfect place for the game. The ability for us to have everything under one roof makes this a great experience for the fans, for the sponsors, for the players. You know, and, and having this unique opportunity with the World Championships um, in, in the fall to do this and, and have it be the national team against the WNBA All-Star team, you know, makes this event this year even more special. You know, it's all about the fans, and I think that, you know, this is really gonna be a great experience for everybody involved. Uh, we always are happy to have a world-class event like this, an event that really brings the eyes of the world to Southeastern Connecticut uh, and to our building, and really helps spread the word about Mohegan Sun. Uh, Connecticut is definitely the home of women's basketball. The fans in the state, in this area, appreciate and understand the game. Sun fans, you're back there. As Gino said, uh, you set the standard for dedication and commitment in this league, um, and they deserve to have this game here too, so thank you. We're very proud of our relationship with the WNBA. We're proud that we were the first independent franchise and the impact we've had on the league, as we can see now, how uh, things are shaping up down the road, as I think we now outnumber the NBA teams. So the independents are taking over. So stand by and hold on to your seats. Um, anyway, thanks again for coming out today and uh, for your continued support of the WNBA in Connecticut. And we'll see you in the arena soon. And now to say a few words on behalf of the Mohegan Tribal Council is a recently elected tribal councilor, Kathy Regan Pine.